In this video I'm just going to show you how to seamlessly loop a video using Premiere Pro or at least I'm going to give you the way I do it I'm sure there's other ways um, I use a lot of these clips for my ASMR sound videos so they're just clips that continuously loop over and over again just to give a nice background so you can see this is a little clip here so it works the only problem with these little clips is they're usually very short as you can see this one's only about 15 seconds long and my videos are usually anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes long so I need to loop this little clip over and over again the only problem with doing that is that when you start looping you get this problem and I'll show you what I mean so if I right click on that copy and then command V to paste Anytime you have a little join here, what you're going to get is a bit of a jump. So if I play this now, you watch it jump. See there? Just play that again. You can see that jumping. That jumping is annoying. You know, if you're going to be watching the video and continuously look at that and see this jump every 15 seconds, it's going to get annoying after a while. So I want that to seam seamlessly loop. So I'll show you how I do that. I'll just get rid of this and start from scratch. So this is my clip here. I'm just going to press the plus key a few times just to get it a little bit bigger there. Now come over here to the razor tool and click on that. And then I find somewhere in the middle of the clip. It doesn't have to be exact, just somewhere basically in the middle and click there. So that's um, separated the clip into uh, two separate clips. And I come over here to the selection tool, click on that, and I click on the second one, I click and drag it up to here. Okay, and then the bottom one, I click and drag it up to the other end. So we've basically uh, reversed those clips. So just bring it down by pressing the minus key. So what that has actually done is it's created a nice transition from the end of the video here to the start of the video here. So they will seamlessly loop. The only problem is the middle here won't. So if I play that, you'll notice there's a jump there still. Okay, so that's no good. So the way I get around that is I use effects. And if I come over here and click on the effects tab, video transitions and film dissolve. Come over here, click on it and drag it over to that join and let it go. Now you can barely see that there. So I'm just gonna click on the plus key to expand it out. And there it is there you can see that there now so what I normally do is double click on that and I change this transition time to about 10 seconds I think that's 10 seconds not sure if that's 0.10 of a second or what but anyway I change it to 10 go OK and then I click because I want this to be over the middle so I click on it and drag it so it's covering both and there we have that there now you, depending on your video, this might work better for some videos and not others, but you can extend this by just moving that up, clicking and dragging. So just play around with that a little bit. That might make it a little better, but that might work for me. I'll see how that goes. Just bring that down. Okay, let's press play now and see how that goes. You can see that's a lot better already. There's no jumping. It's really nice and smooth now. Slight transition, you could, I mean if you really looked you could see it and I might it could even extend that out. See how that goes. So it just depends, so that's why you need to play around there. But I'd be happy with that. Okay, so I bring that down. Now what I do now to make it the 10 minutes long, I click on the first one, press the shift key, click on the second, and then right click and go copy. I bring this to the start. Click on that line there and go Command V. Command V, Command V. And I just click, click in Command V until it comes to 10 minutes. And that's about right there. Okay, now get rid of the old one. Just click and cut that. Okay, so we've got this here. Now, what I do is I go Command A select them all then right click and come up to nest click on that and go OK now you can call this whatever you like it doesn't really matter go OK and there we have it 
and so that should have worked now. We'll go to the start and play it. You can see that looks pretty good. You wouldn't know that the video has been looped. It's pretty seamless. So I hope that works for you and thank you for watching.